Hello, I'm Dr. Jessica McCain. I'm a family medicine doctor and certified as a compassionate care physician to recommend medical marijuana, also called cannabis, in Florida since the passing of Amendment 2 in 2016. I personally created these videos to educate the patients of Southern Comfort Marijuana Clinic to help guide in the process of accessing and using cannabis effectively and safely. I understand that everyone's level of understanding and comfort with cannabis will be different, but even people who already self-medicate can build greater knowledge about the benefits of this herb, not only to treat symptoms and disease, but for its use in health promotion. I will explain who would legally qualify and the process of obtaining it, some scientific background, and strategy for an individualized dosing regimen. I start the educational series by explaining the legal process of becoming a medical marijuana user in Florida, along with the role of the doctor's office, the Department of Health, and the dispensaries. The laws in Florida are rapidly changing, and these videos may have updates pending. Obviously, we are not attorneys and advise you to seek additional counsel if ever needed since there is little case precedent. Some points to consider based on current legislation, employers do have the right to drug test and make their own office policy against use. Insurance companies are not required to provide coverage of treatment process or medication. Marijuana is still federally illegal, but while you are in Florida, you are protected from criminal or civil prosecution if you act responsibly and within the guides of a physician. Consider when traveling. States have individual laws and may or may not recognize a Florida certification. If purchasing a firearm from a dealer, the ATF 4473 form considers medical marijuana as an illicit drug, whereas concealed carry permits are issued by the state. At every visit, you are required by law to sign a lengthy seven-page consent form written by the Florida Board of Medicine. A physician should be available to answer any questions and co-sign along with a witness. We can provide additional literature about the merit of the statements in this document, and we point out that there is no reference citation by the state in making this form. The warnings for safe use of cannabis are on par with all of your pharmaceuticals. Use with caution and do not put yourself or others in danger. Use the cannabis as explained and agreed upon at your certification visit and speak with your other prescribing physicians about your use. Many statements in the Department of Health consent are valid, including that tolerance can develop, meaning need to take a higher dose, but we will explain later in the video series how to avoid this. We also will talk about strategy to avoid the potential side effects, drug interactions, and withdrawal symptoms that are outlined in this consent. By initialing many times on this form, you agree to notify us of any negative experiences. Females will notify the physician as well if they are planning or become pregnant in breastfeeding. This consent form has a short summary of each qualifying condition, often with a conclusion that more research is needed. Finally, the consent form has you acknowledge that your data is put into a registry that is supposed to be de-identified for research purposes. The Department of Health submits data to the Medical Marijuana Research and Education Coalition created by the legislation to create future dosing standards. For any patient, we welcome direct communication from outside providers that want to coordinate care. By law, patients under the age of 18 need to have a second physician sign a letter stating that they agree the potential benefits of medical marijuana outweighs the risks. If a psychiatric illness has history of being poorly controlled, the physician may determine that a close, continuing relationship with a mental health provider is needed to be maintained in an agreement signed committing to this coordinated care approach. Given limited published data, pregnant or breastfeeding women are only eligible for low THC cannabis. Patients need to notify the clinic if their status changes and inform the ob of treatment. Our scheduling software allows patients to make their own appointments, but if you have any difficulty, just call our office and speak with the knowledgeable receptionist. When an appointment is made, you will get an email not only to confirm, but requesting that you fill out questions in advance that we would ask on this HIPAA-compliant software. You can also upload your medical records here. Please provide us with a legit email. It's very important for your records and in obtaining an ID card as this is your username and to log into the registry. The clinic's workflow starts with the medical assistant preparing a summary of any previous medical records and discussion of medical history with the patient. To speed the time you are in the office, this can also be done over the phone if preferred. We require medical records because the state law is that cannabis cannot be used as a first-line treatment option. A doctor's note with the diagnosis or summary of your last clinic visit will likely be enough to collaborate your history provided. We can assist by providing records request form to show your other providers, but ultimately it is the patient's responsibility to have these before being certified by the Southern Comfort Physicians. 
When the people voted on Amendment 2 in November of 2016, the state of Florida included a specific list of conditions that were considered automatic qualifiers and then left some discretion of a doctor's opinion for certifying similar debilitating conditions. These automatically qualifying conditions include cancer, epilepsy, glaucoma, HIV AIDS, PTSD, ALS, Crohn's disease, Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, a medical condition comparable to the above or similar in sim symptoms or severity, and terminal condition as diagnosed by two physicians. The primary role of the medical providers are to vouch to the state of Florida that you are a good candidate for medical cannabis and meet the legalities, which may require the clinic to send research articles to the state to support your use. Physicians that make unsupported certifications risk heavy fines, loss of license, and misdemeanor charges. We are certifying that your condition is truly debilitating, which can be defined in terms of symptoms, including muscle weakness impairing strength and ability, severe or irretractable chronic pain and persistent muscle spasms, severe nausea, wasting, or any condition that is resistant to traditional medicine. These symptoms likely have progressed to the point that impact and limit major life activities, for example, routine physical movement and mental or emotional processes, such as thinking, concentrating, and interacting with others. The state requires a minimum of two visits per year, so we arrange a six-month and annual recertification visit to maintain legalities and medication supply. The fee schedule can be viewed on the Southern Comfort website, and we offer discount if paid in full for both of these visits initially. Additionally, consult or troubleshooting visits may be scheduled at the physician's discretion or by patient request at additional cost. The physician retains the right to place a certification on hold if the information provided at the time of the visit turns out to be falsified or the patients are not using the medication as agreed upon during those visits. At Southern Comfort Marijuana Clinic, we go above and beyond to provide education and a personalized treatment plan, which we will present in the next video series. We also excel in keeping up with Florida statutes and current events, but while we try to keep up with the new products on the market to offer advice, this is not our primary focus, and it is important to understand that we do not have a role in the sale, distribution, or administration of medication. The middleman of the process is the Florida Department of Health Office of Medical Marijuana Use. This organization is responsible for overseeing the laws, housing the physician orders for dispensaries to view, and data collection for research and processing of ID cards. Become familiar with their website, flhealth.gov OMMU, and explore the tabs, which include links to the registry for completing either an online or paper application, troubleshooting suggestions, FAQs specific for patient and physicians, status updates for the most recent legal changes, and their contact information of phone, email, and mailing address of the OMMU. Dispensaries are also called Medical Marijuana Treatment Centers, abbreviated MMTCs, and on this side, you will find the dispensary's information, including their locations and business website hyperlinks for the consumers to review the products. Physicians certify patients by registering them into the database and issuing an ID number. The required fields include a social security number and email address. Caregivers are people who may also be in possession of the medication. They will need their own ID card through a separate application and different email address is required. Caregivers are also needed for pediatric patients and should contact the Department of Health for additional requirements. Within 24 hours of being issued an ID number by the clinic, you should receive an email from the Department of Health with a temporary password allowing you to finish the application for the ID card. Your username will be the email that you provided. Please check your junk and spam mail for these communications. Any issues in this process should be directed with questions to the Department of Health. If you do not have access to a computer, then you can submit a paper application. You can also submit your $75 application fee directly through the Department of Health website, but a check or money order is also acceptable as long as it includes your name, date of birth, and the ID number clearly written on it. The registry now works with the DMV to upload the picture, but if this does not work, then you need to upload an image online or attach it to the paper application. You also need to include a copy or upload a picture of your proof of Florida residency or driver's license. Typically, an approval email will be sent prior to the ID card arriving in the mail, and this email will allow you to start purchasing cannabis. So if you are on the paper application track, remember to call the Department of Health shortly after payment clears to request that this approval notification be mailed to your home instead of via email correspondence. 
MMTCs are the formal term for dispensaries. They are licensed by the state for a multifunctional role, the grow house nursery, the product development site, and the dispensary storefronts. The companies are very high tech and competitive to put on the market the safest and cleanest products and are subject to independent lab testing by law. All of the approved companies are listed on the Department of Health website. Do not choose a dispensary solely based on proximity. You can order online or via phone and they deliver statewide to your home, allowing a chance for on-site education that may feel less rushed than when compared to visiting a storefront. Cannabis products cannot be mailed due to federal restrictions. Each dispensary offers a different product line and pricing, meaning a wide selection of methods of intake, concentration of extracts, choice of strain, etc. Then there are different theories of treatment strategy and business models, which can be confusing to any cannabis user. In the video series about treatment plans, we will go over some suggestions for product selection to ensure that your goals are met. We have asked dispensary staff to discuss any issue directly with our clinic to avoid any miscommunications. And finally, be honest with your other doctors. You may help change their minds about medical marijuana. This encouragement is even echoed on the VA website. Please continue to the next in the video series provided by Southern Comfort Marijuana Clinic, where we discuss how marijuana can be used as a medicine and your personal treatment plan. Thank you for watching the educational series, which allows us to spend more time taking your education to the next level when we are in our office visits. Our contact information is the phone number 772-218-7262 and email at support at socommjclinic.com. When leaving a message, please include the details of your question, your phone number, and email address since we often respond after hours. But please allow up to 48 hours for response. Thank you for allowing us to be part of your healthcare team.